And we're going to go over the lysosomal storage diseases. And that's what's in the center here, the lysosome. So this is the lysosomal storage disease. Uh, we've got the autosomal recessive that on the left side of the house. And we got the X-linked on the right side. There's only two X-linked. We're going to discuss one, two, three, four, five, six different uh, autosomal recessive lysosomal diseases. So we might as well start all the way over here. This is hurlers. Obviously he's hurling. Hurlers syndrome. This is about mucopolysaccharidosis is also called or MPS type 1. It's very much like hunters which is over here hunters. in presentation, but Hunter's is X-linked, Hurler's is autosomal recessive. And here the Hurler guy, he says, I do run and gaze. This has to do, anything in green on this page has to do with the uh, the enzyme deficiency. It's alpha l iduronidase deficiency. And what this happens is you've got undegraded gluco glucose aminoglycans and uh, or gags and you've got it's some corneal clouding mental retardation um, you know throwing up um, you know kind of a flat face um, you're gonna see uh, you know developmental difficulties but I do Ron it has to do with Ron uh, an artist that does this great stuff, you gaze at his art. So, I, you know, that's something I remember, but I just need to remember I do run a gaze. Um, and that is hurlers, so we're going to just kind of circle it all by itself right there. Now, there's also Tay Sachs disease. It's a tie on a sack. Tay Sachs. Let's see. A Tay-Sex disease um, is also autosomal recessive. You've got increased uh, glycolipids in the brain, cherry red macula, that's the eye, the cherry red macula. Death occurs by age three. I forgot to put that on here. Rest in peace. Three. Uh, it's in also one in 30 Jews of European descent, so, or a carrier, so you can put Jews and we're going to kind of put that together here and in green is the enzyme deficiency what does this look like? it looks like a witch's hex so if you can remember hexam hexamidase A hex A A enzyme deficiency okay crab's disease is spelled with a K, but it's K-R-A-B-B-E, apostrophe S, disease. So you get the crab. Part of the problem, well, the big bug eyes are you've got this demyelination, um, which causes optic atrophy. So you have some, you know, problems with the eyes. You've got specificity and early death. So you could put another rest in peace. It's uh, autosomal recessive, that's why it's over on this side of the house. Uh, you've got a very detailed <laughs> picture of what the enzyme deficiency is. You've got the ceramic, sorry, that's a ceramic wheel, sorry, that's what it is. You've got galactic beta, so you've got beta galactosidase, um, also galacto uh, seal ceramide, so it, just try to remember beta galactosidase. Okay, so that's this right here. Beta galactosidase. Uh, so keep those things in mind. <laughs> Down here, I'm going to go over like this and make another one. A lot of colors, metachromic, chromic colors. Metachromic and a leukodystrophy.
it's you know sulfatide in the brain, kidney, liver, and peripheral nerves, demyelination with resulting gliosis, uh, the enzyme deficiency, air sulfatase, aryl, aryl sulfatase A, so it's All right, you've got Goucher syndrome, which is right here. Goucher's disease. And you've got another long enzyme here. Beta gluco, it's a glue, beta gluco cerebridase, cerebrum, beta gluco cerebridase beta glucoserebidase. That's how I remember things. So now we go up to this one is it also autosomal recessive Neiman Pick disease. Neiman's Pick. So you've got Neiman Pick disease. I'm not even going to write it down because it's right there. It's an early death also. The uh, enzyme deficiency sphinx, sphingomyelinase. Sphingomyelinase is enzyme deficiency. It, uh, you've got a uh, accumulation of sphing sphingomyelin and cholesterol. You get the cherry red bacula, foam cells. So we can put some foam here. Foam cells. Uh, hepatomegaly and death by three years old. Rest in peace. And most of these are early deaths. Uh, just you don't want to be losing or missing a uh, um, any lysosomal uh, you know enzymes. Over here are the X-linked. Okay, you've got Fabry's disease. There's a fable there. Fabry's disease. And what's missing is alpha galactodase A. Just L or alpha. Galacta A. Just remember that part. You should remember everything in that. I'm just trying to think, figure out association. So you got Fabry's disease, which is the alpha galacticide, uh, galactosase e A. You actually have an accumulation of cerama, ceramide trihexoside. So ceramics get you know, built up. Uh, it's excellent recessive. You get renal failing failure, which is why there's a kidney here and a skin rash. Okay, and this is Hunter's disease, very similar to Hurler's, but you don't get the cloudial cor the corneal clouding, um, and mild retardation. So just a little, a couple of that. Um, Uh, it's, it's still it's mild, but there is still some uh, mental retardation. But uh, that's why you've got the the gun here. It's X-linked recessive, and I do Ron sulfate. So it's it's very similar for us. You have iduronate sulfase instead of iduronidase. So just remember the difference between the two. I'm hoping that when you get a question, it's not, or I get a question that they're not going to have um, both of them on there unless. They're trying to mess you up, but you never know. I do Ron sulfate. I do Ron A sulfate. I do Ron A. Those are the lysosomal storage diseases.